V is not for Victor anymore. It's for visitors. Tonight on ABC, the visitors land. The yeah. visitors are the title characters in V, an updated version of a sci-fi series from the 1980s. Is it V or V? I can't tell. This version stars Scott Wolf of Party of Five fame. You remember him. He talked about the show with me by satellite. Looks the exact same. He's never changed. We are, of course, here to talk all about V, which uh, premieres tonight. And uh, I know for many people who've seen you on TV before, you'll always be Bailey to us um, from Party of Five. But you've <laughs> yeah. grown up. You're a long way from there, even though you still look like you're 20 years old. Um, I in, know. I don't know. Yeah. You know, how do you do it? <laughs> Did you make a deal with the devil or perhaps an, a an alien of some sort? I I think someone maybe made a deal with the devil on my behalf. But, um, <laughs> I think I should. I think I should. I should. I should probably launch a skincare line or something, don't you think? Honestly, and people would buy it. There's not much people <laughs> won't buy nowadays. So you play Chad in this uh, in V, this new show all about aliens coming to to planet Earth and befriending us, and uh, but of course their reasons for for being here are not necessarily what they say they are. You play a news. Anchor, which I think is really kind of funny, uh, considering that's what I do for a living. But you're hot on the, t yeah. the tail of a big story, right? Absolutely. Uh, you know, in our story, um, Chad Decker is is a news anchor. He's somebody who has been successful, but he's not quite where he believes he belongs. I think he thinks he should have uh, a really bright s spotlight on him, and that and that if something happened like this, like aliens descending upon the earth, that he'd be the person, he'd be the voice uh, that people would look to. Mm -hmm. And so he's constantly looking for that opportunity and he finds his way to have an encounter with the leader of the visitors who, who chooses him to be uh, her voice and, and, and the first time she's going to speak to the human race and announce what their intentions are and why they've come, uh, she's going to do this interview with him. And so she puts him in a position where he's getting the opportunity of his lifetime, uh, but but it pretty quickly takes a turn when she uh, uh, she effectively threatens to take that opportunity away unless he uh, unless he gives this interview on her terms. Now let's let's backtrack here for people who are watching and don't know what V is about. I mean, we can kind of guess yeah. aliens come to the planet Earth. But they're not alien looking. Right. These are beautiful people who um, look and act just like humans. Yeah, I mean, I think what's really fun about this show is is uh, obviously there's something incredibly intriguing to people about the idea of aliens arriving on Earth. This story keeps on revisiting us, but most of the time, uh, the aliens arrive and and they're here to 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 take our planet or to destroy us. And there's destruction and fear and and in our story. It, it, we take a look at what would happen if these aliens arrived, but they came in a way that was much more peaceful mm -hmm. and much more positive and inspirational. And they say they're they're going to make our lives better. They're going to help us cure diseases we haven't figured out. They're going to help help improve our technology and move life forward and make our lives better. And um, and so rather than it being something that's immediately terrible, it actually looks pretty good, and a lot of people embrace their arrival. But then there's the the other side of it, which is there are people who, whose first reaction is to think we can't really trust what they're telling us, and that sure. they've got a far more sinister plan. And so I think the fun of it is, you know, for the audience, you know, it's it, you ask yourself the question, who would you be if this happened to all of us tomorrow morning? You know, would you be somebody who who embraced them or joined the resistance? So intriguing, honestly, and you're right. This is a theme we've seen over and over again, but it's something we just can't get enough of. Scott, thank you so much for Absolutely. talking to us. Best of luck to you on ABC's V. You play Chad Decker, and uh, we'll see. Maybe there are aliens out there. Who knows? Hmm. There could be. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Are you, are you Here we go again. Don't, 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 don't go there, okay? Are you flirting? No, I'm not going there. He looks like he's 12. He's, he's definitely not 12. He's probably 42. He probably, still, look it up. No attraction oh, whatsoever. Scott, Scott Dimples, Wolf. no no can do. Anybody know Scott Wolf? He's probably in his 30s. We'll look it up. 30s. We'll tell you on the other side of this break. Coming I up. I that every time I interview someone, I have go, so do you think he was cute? No, I didn't, it's not like that, but it was a little flirtatious. Oh, though. it was not. Okay, I've was, been watching him since it was I was just in my weird. Early It was just weird. Teens, uh, late teens. Uh, when we, <laughs> up next, some new ways 
to get rid of leaves in your yard. He wait. is 41. I got a way to get rid of those leaves in your yard. 40, Dump them in Evans. 41 <laughs> years old. See, like I said, what did I tell you? Yeah.